Is it possible to do this game without so much cult management or would that be not advisable? I'll, I'll hit you with a different statement. I actually think that the dungeon stuff in the game is when it's at its weakest. It's a game that's more than the sum of its parts, I think, but I think the colony management stuff is the best. The dungeon stuff, this is not a hater comment. The dungeon stuff feels a little loose to me. Like, sometimes I, I feel like I'm, I'm not totally sure what I'm getting hit by. Let me re-educate Malph here. Like, the systems for the game feel more built for the interaction between the rewards you get on the dungeon mission and the ones you, uh... I'll just uh, release you here. And then bringing those resources back to the cult and managing them. He's still... You're still pissed? What the hell, man? Okay, go back to prison then. Oh, they're harvesting. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. You're too good to me. I did, I, I had a thought. And I didn't say the thought because it sounds negative about Cult of the Lamb. And I really don't mean it that way. I think this is a great game. But I do feel like another... See you later. Rip Bozo. I feel like a company is gonna... Um, maybe not a AAA company, but a company is gonna see this and they're gonna rip the game off and make it um, into a game that's gonna sell like a trillion copies. This one might sell a billion. They would probably consider that a success, if I had to guess. A billion copies sold. I feel like... One thing, like, again, this is like, I'm getting too into, like, um... I, I should have just built this thing. Can I help you build? Can I help you build? No? You stopped building because you want to talk to me? Oh my god. Oh my god, my wife wants to talk to me. Could we throw a feast? Sure, I'll accept that. Um... Like, for me, the dungeon stuff is not the game's strong suit. It's, it's fun enough, though. What would go off is if, imagine you manage the cult, and then you... Your cultists become the people that you send out on a mission like Rogue Legacy style instead of you going out on the mission. So your main job in the cult is not just managing everybody's resources, but also trying to like create characters that are well suited to the dungeon. But if you lose them on the dungeon, then you've lost them in the colony as well. That would be cool. Yeah, like a Darkest Dungeon style campaign. I think that's a good way to describe that. And it's really dark and there's a dungeon. Yeah, like Darkest Dungeon, but actually having to manage the, like the active Animal Crossing type stuff going on. It's a good way to describe it. Anyway, I'm not gonna make it. But it's like, I mean, I've, I've had many takes about the gaming industry that did not become true. Like, for example, oh man, everyone's gonna rip off the shadow of Mordor Nemesis system. Turns out not everybody ripped it off. Like, one company ripped it off and put it in Assassin's Creed, and it was like a cool thing in the, in the modern Assassin's Creed games, but ended up not really being true overall. It's patented? I didn't know that. All right, well, a company not based in the United States of America should rip it off then. I, I said what I said. Also, this is my... A lot of people disagree with me on this one. They're going to say bad take. I actually don't like when... Feel excuse me? I don't like when you have to break stuff on a dungeon to get resources. I know you're going to say, like, what about in Isaac? No, even in Isaac, I'm like... I just find it to be busy work. Like, I... You have to... I like when you finish the room, like, some of the stuff gives you resources so that you don't have to break it. What I don't like is knowing that if I just spent, like, a little extra time doing busy work, I might get a few more resources. A bed has collapsed. Like, I'm... I've been doing it for... for... 30 years now. I'm, I'm done breaking stuff. I want to I want to finally create some stuff. Insanely high value play. He's amazing. 
How do you feel about breaking your freaking face tonight? If I'm at Woodstock 99, I guess you gotta do what you gotta do to stay alive. But I do, I really like Cult of the Lamb. If anything, I think it's a testament to like the game design. That like none of the individual elements on their own would make like a, a game this compelling. But the, the systems that interlink them make it very compelling. Like I was telling Kate last night, I said, before I play Cult of the Lamb, I'm always like, oh, it seems like such a chore. I gotta go harvest some resources. I gotta go, uh, you know, clean the toilets and stuff like that. After I'm playing it, I'm like, oh, just 15 more minutes, mom. I just gotta clean the shitter real quick. Three beetroots! I played it for three days straight, then started a new file. I will say... I think once I finish it, I'm probably done with it just because this is already on the hardest difficulty. I, I think I would just be playing the greatest hits again. But I'm having a great time with it. I'm very glad that I went to the hardest difficulty. Not to brag or whatever. Sure. We already get a spirit heart, so let's receive double the health when healing. I'll flex. Yeah, they if they can mod in a harder difficulty, that would be nice. I just don't... So what happens to me a lot of the time is like I play on the hardest difficulty that they offer for normies, but then I get bored because it's like it's easy. So if they could offer maybe something for like real gamers, then that would be nice. But until then, I don't know. A little beetroot. I mean, I know there's probably some other streamers out there that are playing on, like, a uh, hard or, like, God forbid, normal difficulty. I don't At that point, I don't know. I'd probably just delete my Twitch channel, but... Uh, you know, it's different strokes for different folks. I, all I can say is congratulations. Um, you cheated yourself out of a great game. You didn't struggle. You didn't learn anything. What's the, what's the copy pasta? Let me get a follower. They took my family and sacrificed them to Shimura. Now I'm all alone. Alright, well. Does he make you feel health? You cheated the game, you cheated yourself. My new... Th I, I don't know if you've noticed this, probably. My new thing is saying deliberately um, crazy things and then adding, would love to know your thoughts on this. I feel like you can get away with saying some really stupid stuff as long as you add... Um, would love some thoughts on this at the end of the sentence. It's been working out so far. You experienced a hollow victory. Nothing was risked and nothing was gained. It's sad that you don't know the difference. It's so funny. Oh, it's Ooh. Ooh, what the hell? Those aren't cheese balls? Those aren't pillows? I love gaming. What a pursuit. Up yours, woke moralist. Okay, hold on. Wait, you guys all gotta go. You did not go in time. I watched the streamer play on normal. The difference is huge. The difference between my skill and their skill or the difference between the difficulty of the games. I just... I'm just not gonna... I'm just gonna pretend it's that I'm so good. Both? Well, when I played, like, the pre-release on hard, it became very clear in the dungeons early that, I, like, hard is not hard enough for the dungeons. I thought maybe it would be hard enough for the colony, but actually the colony management stuff is really... Not, not to sound, again, like a hater. The colony management stuff is actually really easy because, like, whenever you get into trouble, you got a bunch of levers you can pull to bail yourself out. Like, you got endless rituals that give you, like, whatever meter you need to fill up. So the dungeons are actually the hard part, but you got to crank up the difficulty to your own degree of, uh, of design. I mean, if you want to... I'm not actually one of those people that's like, you got to play games on the hardest difficulty. You should just play them on whatever is most... You know, enjoyable for you. 
But a game being too easy is definitely worse than a game being too hard. As long as the game is, like, good, that's for just for me, at least. Because too easy is just, like, boring most of the time. They, they, like, okay, in, like, Life is Strange or something like that could be a, a counterexample. Like, I don't, I don't need the quick time events to be impossible as if the writing's good. Um, but for most games, especially games intended to be played for, like, a long period of time, I'd rather have them be a little bit, take a little longer to get a handle on the mechanics than just be like, you know, click, 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 you're dead, click, 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 you're dead. Bane Sword 11? I like my right click decently enough. I'm gonna take my Bane Sword 11 here. Recycle you. That's me with Tower of Fantasy. I don't wanna offend you, chat, because maybe you're gonna be like, it's a missed opportunity. I did have a bounty for Tower of Fantasy. I opted not to uh, pursue it. <laughs> but I told my wife about it immediately because I was like, this seems way up her alley. Okay, didn't, didn't expect that. But, and then, wouldn't you know it, when I told her about it, she was like, guess what? I already took the bounty. She was one step ahead of me. <laughs> 